what you got there. Hey, is that full auto? Maybe. You got paperwork? I wish I could read. Hey! All right, guys, Dustin here, and today we're gonna do something kind of neat. We have a plethora of machine guns here. Would you say I have a plethora? And we're gonna see how the recoil pattern is the best way I can explain it. Compared to a video game, say Call of Duty, you're trying to shoot and you're trying to ride it because it's gonna come off target. Well, we're gonna see what they do. So our first full auto will be a Glock with auto sear. Yes, this is registered and legal. Uh, so don't think you can buy one off a of wish because you'll go to prison. And we're gonna use the aim cam so you can see first person shooter as well. I have not warmed up. It's horrible! <laughs> that was horrible! And that's what we expected. I knew that was gonna ride, and at 10 yards, it's kind of crazy. So this is where I started, this is where it went, and this is where I corrected. Yikes! Now we have a full auto Uzi. This is nine millimeter ammo before my, our friends over at American Marksman. So I think this will go a little better than that stupid Glock. Here we roll. Here we roll. This is where I started and I'm like, oh wow, it doesn't recoil that much. I can pull it back. I had one over here. Everything else was beautiful right in the center. MP5, HK slap. That was very sparky. I think the Uzi actually did a little better. <laughs> we had a few high, but that group was pretty good. That, that's a good group for submachine gun. I hope you're enjoying today's video, guys. It is made possible by our friends over at shields.com. You may have heard of the store, but have you gone to the website? They have a complete selection of anything that you'll need to do stuff outdoors, from climbing and cycling, fishing and hunting and shooting. They've got the premium brands, as well as a full selection of my favorite, which we're blowing through a lot of today, ammunition. So go check them out. There will be a link on the link tree, shields.com. Let's shut up and shoot. Tommy Gun, 45 ACP, Chicago typewriter. Okay, it was a little more bouncy, but mag dump's pretty clean. We're shooting the same paper as the MP5, but we left these down here. Of course, the larger holes are the Tommy gun, and so I was aiming a little higher. You can see that front sight bounce in well, so it held well. Uh, it's a heavy gun, but we only have two outside the box. Everything else is here a little bit bigger, but pretty controllable. Now we have your M4 variant. We have the Huxwork suppressor on there just because I love suppressors. And we're shooting 25 rounds of that striker ammo from American Marksman. All right, bounced around a bit, more than a submachine gun, but our pattern's still good. Decent, but uh, yeah, it's not submachine guns. But we're starting to open up on the rifles, which is expected. Now we have our 20 inch M16 style, but we didn't change the butt stock out. We're using the other lower. Griffin armament suppressed, but the aim cam footage is gonna be weird because of the scope. That was so controllable. Now I'm not being able to see my sight picture, but I can see where it's rocking and it didn't move hardly at all. That was sweet. So we have three from the M16 outside the box. The rest are mixed in with this M4. So that was, that was pretty slick and a lot more centered. So that's cool, M16 for the win. AK-47 time. This is where it's gonna get hairy. <laughs> I swear, I think it would hold me up on one leg if it just kept going. <laughs> This is where we're just looking at, the, making sure the site has something in target. That's not as bad as I thought it would be. That doesn't look terrible. I guess I was low, but we're just trying to see front sight in paper. Um, so that's decent. One flyer up there. I, I, I thought it was gonna be worse, that's all. I thought it was gonna be like, yeah! 
but that's okay. PTR 51 fully automatic with a, 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 a cheesy brake, but this thing is beastly. Oh boy. It's loud too. I should have used double muffs on there. <laughs> so I'll be honest, it was so gassy, I was blinking half the time. But this still looks plenty safe. I want to count 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20 on paper. <sighs> Wild, but it worked. It worked. We're on paper. Two in the box. <laughs> now, one more just for fun. This is the CMMG Banshee, so it's AR9, 9mm conversion mags, suppressed with Angel Fire 147 subsonic ammo, so look, mono ears. My flashlight fell off. <laughs> Yeah, that rode up on me just a, a bit to the right. So, but I have the string. So MP5 did a bit better than uh, than that, but uh, still on target and still better than the you know full size ARs. Well, one thing we learned is that machine guns are fun. Okay, it is. Th with the different systems, we found different things. You know, we had the radial delay. Nope, sorry, roller delay blowback with the MP5 showed pretty well. The Uzi, man, it's just it's so heavy. It was open bolt, but it still ran well. The roller delayed better than an uh, than a blowback, that's for sure. But then we could have experimented, and what we may do, stay tuned, and we'll do it with and without some muzzle brakes. I'll put a link because we have done some good muzzle brakes before, and we could see a difference rather than just running a suppressor. Uh, and then the PTR is just <laughs> such a beast. But, you know, a 308 magged up is cool uh, on the practical sense. Here's where I say practical sense on, uh, on machine gun recoil, recoil management. Because if you can get it down, then your splits will be better with you that same form, that same follow through, that same pushing in competitions with just single shots. So, you want to see more? Leave a comment below, leave a like, give a share. Thanks for watching today, guys. Okay, I love you, bye bye. Did you see that? I came in like a wrecking ball! Oh, perfect! <laughs> yeah!